Now are we gonna get some fun cutscenes? Oh wait, we're still in a cutscene. But I mean, special FMV. Old PlayStation 2 graphics are awesome! This is what I thought. Go ahead, take a look. Okay. Well, t t you have to look before you can figure out what it is, honey. So apparently that's what you can see under an electronic microscope. That is exactly what you see under a microscope, guys. See the cells, and the blood cells, and the white cells, and... Well, it looks like atoms or something. Um... And some kind of parasitic mitochondria? Oh dear. And the nucleus. Bye bye Your cells are completely surrounded by them! As you can see, the mitochondria, or Eve, has taken over the nucleus. In a similar matter, the beasts that attacked you probably experienced the same thing. Then why do humans not mutate? Why do they just burn up? Normal mitochondria has no such power. So mitochondria has gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, Monte oh god, we're gonna get another science lesson! <laughs> this has a mitochondria requests oxygen from the nucleus. Without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus ceased to function. <laughs> so in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other, but in this case, it seems that Eve developed a power to reverse a symbiotic relationship. Evolution, or even mutation, seems likely in this case. <laughs> oh great. Now we're gonna get the creepy as hell operatic. And I'm going to be constantly checking over my shoulder because, seriously, this game creeps me out. At least the opera does. Which power Eve has within her whole body? A lot. <laughs> Meta. Y yes Could you test my cells? Oh dear. Y yes of course, but... I want to know. I want to know why I have the power to fight her. Because you're a mutant! <laughs> Aww, poor Aya. I need to know why! What is with this game and putting emphasis on weird words in a sentence? That is not how people speak. Could you step over here, please? Good thing she happened to have been in the right place at the right time to be the one who can fight against Eve? Or something? Yes, yes. Now he has your DNA! And now it's time for shocking revelation number 6000! Yep. I think you better see for yourself. For yourself. What is it? Is something wrong? Obviously! Once again, we go into the totally realistic and actually how it looks like inside a human body. Inside the white blood cells, through the other thingy-mabobs that look like atoms for some reason, to the nucleus! Oh dear. Oh, A's nucleus says, fuck you! <laughs> so apparently she is, has, is powerful by reverse? Do you realize what is happening? Apparently not. <laughs> your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. Almost as if they are protecting the nuclei from Eve's mitochondria. Why does A's mitochondria have this kind of power? Because she's the protagonist! Oh dear god, more science lesson. Are you familiar with the Richard Dawkins theory of the selfish gene? In simple terms, it states that genes act in a manner to preserve the survive and ensure the survival of the species. Hey man, I don't read the scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Thank you, Daniel. We don't need another science lesson. Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all, multi all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, Eve's A's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. Why only A's? Shouldn't it be the same for us as well? We should also have that power based on. That wasn't even English. <laughs> what seems to that seems to follow the natural order of things, but I'm sorry, I don't know why. Because she's the protagonist. Professor? Oh, hi, Clamp. 
What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering! Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? And actually, this is a public building. So shut your face, Clamp. <laughs> We've received orders to evacuate the city. Professor, you really should... I'm telling you, cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. <laughs> and Daniel just kind of walks off. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, it was my fault, you see. I asked them to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Oh, that was Daniel's voice, sorry. <clears throat> oh, I, I'm Kunihiko Maeda, and I'm a scientist from Japan. You are using my electronic microscope, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's a really tiny electronic microscope. <gasps> what is this? Where did you get this specimen? I must have contain it. You, where did you get these cells? Th those are... <laughs> They're hers. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> do you take me for a fool? Yes, I do. <laughs> With cells like these. They must affect the body's natural state. Er, uh... <laughs> You're so bad at lying! Oh, shut up, I'll just ask Officer Brea. Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. And I know everything! Do you feel any bodily changes? Are you pregnant? I... I am! With your child! Well, with Eve's child, more like. If you lost consciousness on it, yes, <laughs> yes she has. Hey! Uh-oh. Daniel sees something. What the hell is this? Why is my boy's name here? Uh-oh. Lorraine! Lorraine's on here too! Clamp, you tell me! Oh dear. You tell me what this list is for! Tell me, you hear? Oh dear. <laughs> Daniel has now gone turbo mode. Let go of me. I don't have to tell you anything. What? Daniel, calm down! Qu exclamation mark! Daniel! And he just throws him down. Actually, he does kind of have a right to know why his wife, or his ex-wife, and his child are on a list of any sorts. And nobody's paying attention to Maida. Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> but we do have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. Officer Brea, do you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? Yes! Daniel's amazing! Nobody was paying attention to him! Nobody's paying attention to my, uh, And the computer turned both on and off. And then on again. He obviously did something. It's too late now. It's too late to do anything now. So I will sell my soul to the devil. Now do we go to the police station? Oh, it's, it's night already? Wow. Let's go to the police station. Nothing can go wrong. At all. Ever. Except everything. Damn him! One of these days. What was that list? It was an HLA type listing. It is a list to see whether organs will be object rejected when transplanted. Why the hell are Ben and Lorraine on that list? It was a type of people with matching HLA types, so... So it makes sense that his son is on there if his wife is. Wife, ex-wife. Get back to the station and get in the... Wait, is this when everything goes wrong? Wait for it. Hey, yep, I was right. <laughs> What the hell happened here? Eve. Eve happens. Where the, hell, where the hell do you think she was going? E yes. Yes, Aya. Yes. Sh she's here. I'll go look around. You two stay here. Hell no. I'm not going to sit around and wait for this thing to kill my family. Daniel. Oh, he's not catching on fire this time, so it must be okay. Wait, Aya! Oh, dear God, he's gonna do the thing again. Here, take this. What's this? It's a good luck charm from Japan. It's the best I can do. <laughs> Why don't you get a gun and come help me shoot the things? No? Okay. 
Apparently, he is not allowed to be a combatant. Then again, neither is Daniel. Also, everybody's dead. I'm getting help. Hang on. No, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Very, very, very dead. <laughs> What's in here? Monster? No, dude. It's a dude! Hi. Hold on. Oh, he's also dead. <laughs> Does he have a key? Anything? Aha! I wonder if I can get ammo from the other guy. He he is dead. Is the locker still locked? Damn it! I really run into that locker. I wonder if I can get any uh ammo off the other dead guy. Hey dead guy! Come here. Come here. Thank you! Even though I really don't need ammo at this point. Whoa, what? Oh great, this place is infested with monsters. Oh, hi there! You are yellow, not red. You must have different powers. Oh shit, bird! Hey, jackass. Oh, well then, um... Hey! Wow, you hit like a truck! Excuse you. No. I don't want the junk. Stop giving me the junk. I do not require your junk. <laughs> and my gigantic gun turns into a pistol. <laughs> I want to run around carrying the giant gun. Why do I have to carry the fucking pistol? Hi, Wayne! How you doing? Oh, Warner, sorry. Yeah, man, Eve really caught us off guard. Most of our men were out. I'm getting help. Hang on. No worries. I'll be alright. You go after Ben. Oh, shit. Where's Ben? Save point. Ah, we might as well use it. It's been a little while. Hello, operator. I would like to report, um, the fact that the police precinct, police precinct has been completely overrun by monsters. Everyone is dead or dying. What about Baker? Baker okay? Baker! Nope, just dead guy. Are you okay? Where's the camp? He went to look for Ben. No, hold on, please. Nope, he dead. No, hold on, please. I need your ammo. Damn it, he doesn't have ammo. Oh well. I guess it's time to go onwards. Come on. Let's go see how Wayne and Torres are doing. I'm sure they're completely fine. Oh, right. Monsters. Oh, shit! There's two of them. Nerp, 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 nerp. Fuck you two. No, go away! Go away! No! Don't hurt me! Whoa! Okay, how about we don't? These guys really hit like trucks! Making me use my medicine and shit? No, go away! No, go away! No, go away! I don't like fighting in little tiny locations. It's hard. Why are you still giving me medicine ones at this point, game? I'm pretty sure he requires something with a little bit more power than that. Itchy chest, itchy chest. Um. And now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> What's my BP look like? Nope, still can't do anything with it. Of course there's monsters. Oh, hi! Oh my god, it's a fucking werewolf. Hey! I have a really good range with this damn thing. Hey! You get the hell off of me. No, go away, go away, go away! Oh, god damn it! Almost got away from him. Fuck you. No! 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 Don't hurt me! 
Nope, he hurt me. Please die. Thank you. Ooh, I will take your offense one. Okay, thanks.